Yesterday, I helped in the Well Baby Clinic, and I enjoyed um, working with the mothers and the babies. Um, just seeing how they're they're so loving towards their children, and probably less than half of the children were a little bit undernourished, but for the most part, they were very well fed and and. Um, you know, doing well and thriving, but they're so happy with what they have, and there's so much love and dedication towards, uh, it seems like, the family. What would you say their understanding of their health issues are? I think it's very basic. Just even washing hands and, and uh, after they use the restroom, very simple things like that will help prevent any further disease. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Okay, this morning I was painting. I'm an ICU nurse by trade. Uh, I just cleaned up with some turpentine and we're going to be doing a C-section uh, in the operating room suite here. So I'm going to scrub up, change clothes, and assist with the C-section. How much notice have you had? Uh, maybe three minutes, <laughs> but that's okay. So from painting, ceilings, to C-section. Yep, I'm wearing lots of different hats on this trip, so. Variety is the spice of life, right? Usually do a five minute scrub. And then actually um, I'll change clothes, um, put on a hat and a mask, and um, scrub in the other room as well. I'm just going to go over the curtain here and change clothes. Okay, so we put the mask, the hat, the shoe covers on, uh, change clothes to keep out any bacteria or anything from the outside coming into the OR suite. Uh, in there, we'll put on sterile gloves and gotta go. They just invited me in. Oh, I'm going to right now. Okay. So what he's preparing to do is put in the epidural catheter. Uh, so what he'll do is numb her back with some lidocaine first, and then inject a spinal needle and thread in uh, epidural needle. He'll give the medication in there to uh, basically numb her from uh, the rib area down. Uh, she'll be numb for up to six hours after delivery. She has a Foley catheter in already. Um, that helps drain the bladder, it keeps the bladder out of the way so that when they do the incision, the bladder will be flat and then they can see the uterus clearly. They'll drape her so that she can't see what's going on. put instruments down and reuse them as needed uh, during the case. I use gauze to soak up any um, extra fluids. They count the gauze and after surgery, they count them again to make sure they have all the gauze accounted for and instruments accounted for before they close. Now we pray before surgery. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, you just call her so that if he has any guts, 
uh, that's so awesome. Be between yeah, like taking the incision, uh, it'll automatically cauterize any bleeding that's going on. In the United States, you know, the surgeons specialize. So you have uh, obstetricians, you have vascular surgeons, you have general surgeons, you have cardiovascular surgeons. But here in Honduras, uh, the surgeon does everything. So yesterday we did a tonsillectomy, today we do a C-section. They do appendectomies. The surgeons here do all the various different surgeries. Make sure they're nice and dry, any fluid. Um, make sure their eyes are dry, their nose and their mouth are, are cleared with any fluids at all. Uh, and then you cut the umbilical cord shorter, and then you make sure the baby stays nice and warm. He's doing great.